Sego. Sego. Hi and Mohawk. Let's take three deep breaths. Yeah, hoping you're finding this pause to slow down a refreshing part of your day. Yeah. Again, it's like when we're really, really connected, when we're feeling all our relations in all corners of the universe. We're not trying to get anywhere. Yeah, there's always more to learn, but here we are. We're listening. We're listening to what this beautiful universe is saying to us at every moment. So today I am uh, fortunate enough to provide a healing space for a brother. And um, it's not about uh, bells and whistles and uh, anything exotic or whatever, like <laughs> new agey in the not so good sense of that word. It's um, so much about really listening. Like there's a lot of different kinds of healing that people need, but we all really need to be listened to without judgment. Like somebody is really paying attention to us that we're working something out and somebody is there for us. So yeah, if you're, if you're, you know, if you're hurting, go through your mental Rolodex and see who you can get to, to give you non-judgmental attention and thank them in a, you know, in whatever capacity, whether it's professional or not, it's really important that we don't get super isolated and that we trust enough to reach out to our brothers and sisters and let us know, let, let them know how we're doing. And maybe we're not hurting at all and we just want to shout out from the treetops how good it is to be alive, you know? Joy is part of the mix, too. It's not all hard times. It's a mix. It's a mix, but we lean into the joy. We lean into the gratitude. And um, part of what helps that arise is just being super, super attentive uh, to other people when they're speaking or just being, you know? And what I've always loved about native talking circles is when you're holding that feather or stone or some beautiful sacred object, listening is where it's at. It's, it's really a critical cultural component for this new earth we're in the process of of birthing or she's birthing us and one of the things that i've really noticed in my time on the planet is there has definitely been a way of you could call it kind of colonial speak and women are are rightly, you know, talking about mansplaining 
and this unconscious arrogance about um, this unconscious arrogance of I know more and there's a there's also a talking over and a kind of competitiveness in terms of knowledge and this whole listening ethic this whole humility this this aspect of humility that comes out of the indigenous teachings is that everybody has a piece of wisdom to share everybody has a piece of the puzzle everybody is is beautiful and everybody has a place in the in the circle of equality so yeah <laughs> a big shout out to all those folks who like i'm just gonna shut up and listen and right now i'm gonna shut up and listen to the trees